All right, what do I got for you today? You got a uh, old school gas mask here. This is the M40. Uh, some of the old school Marines Army might remember this. Uh, it was very popular after the mid '90s, going into that first push into Iraq. Uh, so very common, very regularly issued gas mask. Uh, still kind of in service today in some militaries. Uh, it's got replaced by the M50, which is one of the first gas masks I showed you. Uh, but this did take over for the M17, the last one that I did. Um, but yeah, this is the more modern gas mask. Can I show you a demonstration? So what you can see here is you have the two twin eye lenses right here. You have the single filter on the side, which can be unscrewed. The way it's set up right now is that I have it on the right side. However, it can be switched over to the left, since I am right-handed. So if I were to go shooting or something, it's a little bit harder to do this. you got the filter blocking you, so switch it over to the right side. You can also attach the com ports, whatever you want to, the side here. Make it a little bit easier to hear. Got a little drinking tube on the side, pop into a canteen. Get some hydration going on right here. So this one's pretty nice. It, um, it's obviously used, but it feels very new. Uh, one of the things I got, I got this handy dandy little carrying case right here. I uh, got an extra little eyepiece, uh, sunshades. So that way, if you're ever working in the hot sun, you can use that. Um, this was kind of introduced or decommissioned before I got into uh, the Marines myself, at least in the units that I was going to. So I never really got a chance to see much of these, um, just their filters. But this is kind of the classic gas mask, um, ones that you see in a lot of like horror movies, outbreak movies, you know, pandemic kind of stuff. Uh, so I've always been wanting to get it. Just especially with the older crew, like it's very, it was very popular with them. Uh, however, my heart always goes out to the M50. That's what I use for my entire career, so that's the one I like the most. Uh, this one, uh, I did notice that the head harness with this is a little getting a little worn out just because of age and time. So a little bit of that dry rot. Uh, so this is going to have to be replaced or modified sometime in the future. However, there's a lot of good sellers out there. These are very in stock. Price-wise, it's a little more pricey, just because, you know, they're still in use. Um, yeah, this one cost me about $120, opposed to, like, the GP5, which cost me $20. Uh, but very good for collectors. Uh, the NBC filters, they do work. However, they can be replaced with other filters if, as needed. So you get industrial ones or whatever. It's just a 40-millimeter 40, 40 screw. So anything that fits on that can work for you. As far as recommendations goes, this is uh, this will protect you more than a lot more of the cheaper gas masks I've shown you. Um, obviously, they use them in the Iraq War. You know, protect you against like blister and nerve agents and all that nasty crap. However, um, if you're really looking to protect yourself, go for the M50. But for cosplay, whatever have you, do some Resident Evil stuff. Uh, this would be the one to go for.